Hello everyone. Today we are going to take a look on a script code project that gives you the power to create virtual worlds using procedural stuff. And this this project is quite complex to to be installed on Windows, so I made it another way where we could use Linux inside our Windows machine. For that, I think you need at least 16 gigabytes of RAM to, to make it work. So, let's start. First, you have to install key emu and you can get on this link just grab the latest one, it's usually the one outside the exe file. You can download it and just install. After downloading, the installation is quite simple. Just double click and it will ask a place for you a place for you to install English next agree I did I selected everyone and press next I just confirmed this place this place is going to be important so you can copy and just install I won't do it this because I've already done so, after installing, one important thing to make easier for you to, to find, to, to use the, the code, is to add the path to your system path. For example, we can go to the place that it was installed. It was program files, key, emu. We can go here, copy the path, control C, and you can go on your computer, right click, properties, and it will show your information, advanced system, environment variables, and you can go on this lower part where is the system variables and find the path. Double click and it will show the list. You can add, I, I already added one here, you can press new and paste the path I already have so I won't add another one and I accidentally removed so I'm gonna actually add because I removed okay okay and okay now you will need the har file that's the key emu image with Ubuntu and Infinigen ready to use. You can unextract it. I'm gonna do this here. Extract here. I'm doing this in a D Infinigen folder to be easier to explain what you should do. So just wait for it to finish. I'll pause and I'll come back. After unpacking, you will have this new file extension with 32 gigabytes. And with everything set, you can open your prompt and use, well, well at least you must go first for the folder that you have unpack it here in my case and you can use you see here install put path and environment path we've done extract and then use this command to fire up the virtual machine so here it is fire, firing up in case you have any problems using this command, 
you can try this other one and maybe if you have some problem even with that even with this one you can use this other command to take a look on a list of CPUs that you can try to fit your system for example let me show here if you use that command it's gonna it, it's wrong it's the wrong command sorry you can see the list that it has I'm almost sure you have to use some of these names here at the end you have a list you can see which one fits better to your system I think this one could be the best the max which is the one I added on the alternative one a little more explanation this option it's saying that the virtual image can use four cores of your processor in this part it's saying that it can use 16 gigabytes if you has if you have less memory you can try a lower amount I'm not sure uh, how much it needs to run Infinigen so you can try a lower one and this part it's telling some configuration to use other part that we are going to use soon okay so it let me close this it's starting probably it's it already started let me put it down here we are not going to use it anymore let's open another prompt and in this new one what we are going to do is following this we are going to use this command ssh so another important thing you have to have ssh enabled in your system in my system i already have it enabled i think if you don't have you can go to the control panel and programs enable resources and i think you have something here sorry this part i don't remember exactly well in case you can google it to find sorry so let's put this command this command is the ssh to connect to another computer the user and the address that we're going to use so i just not this one sorry again copy and it will ask for the password the password is ubuntu and it's connected great the next part we are inside the virtual machine and we have to go to this folder paste here ctrl c ctrl v and you are in the folder next you have to execute this command let me put it here and this command it's going to create the basis of the 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 world that you you are making and this word is controlled by these two words desert is the one that it's the default example from the infinigem page but you have other options that you can find i can search and i'll put on the the text while that we we'll wait it i think it takes about five minutes i'll pause and then i'll come back and it's done this part the course part you will have to to download that file and you can do this download using the command oh sorry now you don't need to get this the course file I'm gonna explain later you have to execute the final one the second command we executed this one and now we have to execute this other one let's do that 
Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V. And this one, I think, takes about 12 minutes. And let me explain another thing. I told about changing the name, the command here. For example, desert, you can replace for something else that are already configured on the, the project. And I took note and wrote here the options that you have. You can replace desert to Arctic, Canyon, Cave, Cliff, Coast, Coral Reef, Forest, Cap Forest, Mountain, Plain, River, Snowy Mountain, Underwater. And there is another thing that tells on the documentation of the project that you can remove the simple word from the command, this one, simple. And you will have a much more detailed scene, but it's more expensive. I didn't try it yet, but you're free to try yourself. You can see here you have the simple. You just have to remove the simple from here for executing and from the second command too. Now let's wait for this part to finish and I'll keep explaining. I'll pause it and I'll get back again. And now that the final part is done, we can take a look and see what is the result of it. To do that, we can go to the bottom part, the commands, getting the final result. Let's use this command that will copy what's in the virtual machine to our PC. In this case, I have it set to the D folder Infinigen, fine. Let's run this. And oh, sorry, it shouldn't run inside the virtual machine. It should run on a prompt. Let me get another prompt here. This one I'm gonna use to move the files, to copy the files between virtual machine and my local machine, my host machine. So I'll use this command and put the password Ubuntu and it will start copying it. Oh, sorry, I forgot one thing. I have to create the folder. And now I'm gonna run it. Ubuntu. And here you will have it downloading the file. And now you have it here. Let's open the file. What I suggest is that you open on Blender 3.3.1 because this part on the Infinigen is done using that same version so you won't have problems. If you tweak and put it to run again on Infinigen. Let me open the 3.3.1 just a minute. Here you have it. Let me open the blend file. Okay, now you can see what it did. You can take a look on the camera view. Uh, camera view. And you can let me decrease a little bit the resolution and the samples, just so we can have a fast test. And let me run the image.
and here you have the final result. This is from the view that you already have when you run Infinijam. But what if you want to see another point of view that can cause some problems? Let me show another thing. If you, for example, select this camera. If you rotate the camera and you put it to run again, let me show what happens. Here you can see you won't have the object on the scene because what I saw with the developer of the project is that Infinigen just put the objects where the camera is facing. So to, to see this, this view, for example, you have to rotate the camera, save and run it again inside Infinigen. So if you want to see on this view, for example, that let me change it here. For example, you want to get a part where this mountain is on the left. Middle of the mountain is here. What will, will you have to do? You will have to download the course file. Let me show you. To download it, get in the course file to change it locally. You will have to run this command the prompt but you have to create a course folder first let us create course and pick up the command copy and paste here put the password Ubuntu And here you have the file. You see that it's much smaller. Now we can open in Blender. Don't save. There is a lot of trick, little tricks that you, you must be aware of. And to change the view, there is another trick that we show here on the tree view you search for a camera, you can see that there are two cameras. Let me find it. it. You see that it is a little bit offset one from one another. So if I want to change the view, it's important that you change both cameras at the same time. So on this side, let me put on the camera view so we can see where we are facing. And we have to select both cameras. Control click to select both. R to rotate. I put a Z to rotate only on the Z axis. And you can see this, this part, for example. I want to see this area. I rotate until I point both cameras to the same place. Save the file. So we are saving the course is scene.plant course is scene.plant and now we are going to send this file. So it's a little bit complex, but it's worth. It's worth. Let's send the course file back to the virtual machine. So we can get this command, place it on the prompt. And we are sending to the virtual environment. It was sent. Now we can run again the fine pass. It's below here. Generate the new scene after changes were done. We are going to copy this command. You can see that it's a fine because you see hello world fine. And place in the virtual 
virtual machine. Place it here and and I didn't copy. Let me copy and paste here. Execute. It will take about 12 minutes, I guess. Again, so I'll pause it and then I'll come back again. Now that the pro process is finished, it took 16 minutes, we can get the results again. Getting the result after the change. Let's use this command here and put on the prompt. And put the password. Ubuntu. Should be in the find folder. The file is downloaded to your local machine and we can open it in Blender. See this mountain? Wait, it, wait for it to load. And you see that it's facing the same mountain. Maybe you can notice that it got more detail. But let's render to see the result. Oh, I forgot. Every time that you bring back the file, you have to change. If you want, you have to change the resolution and the, the settings. Because they are resetted. They reset them. So I'm going to do decrease here and the resolution to 50%. Let me put to render. Now you can see that you have, instead of those boxes, you have the objects in place. So to summarize the steps that you have to do, it's basically this I wrote here. If you want to change the view, you have to open the course file, which is, in this case, I put it on the course folder. You open this blend file, rotate the camera, both cameras at the same time, to whatever you want to, to see. Save this file, send it to the virtual machine, run the fine process, download the fine blend file, and you will have it. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh, I have uh, some uh, two, two informations to add. To shut down, you are using a virtual machine, so it's basically a computer inside a computer. The interesting thing is that you shut down before, before closing. So there is this command, sudo shutdown, that you can use to stop the machine. You paste here and you have to put the password again. And it's scheduled to shut down the PC in one minute. You just have to wait and it will close. Probably it will be shut down in a few moments and it's going down. If you take a look on this part that it's running, this is the virtual machine. It probably it's gonna stop in a while, I think, I don't remember. But oh, okay, it is done and we can try, uh, th there is a quick bonus that I would like to show you. If you use the same command that you used, but remove this no graphic part, oh, let me show what will, you will have. You see, the you can see a window and 
basically you are going to have a full Ubuntu machine that you can run inside your Windows with UI and everything that you can use. It's not the best performance, but if you want to try something, you can try it. It takes a while to load. Let me pause to wait it to load. It is still loading. And here you have the virtual machine with Ubuntu 22.04 that you can use. You can, uh, there is a not so interesting thing that sometimes you get in the try to get in the corner of the image and it doesn't go. You just have to go to the other side, go a little bit and come back and then you are able to move to the corner. Here you can access the terminal, you can use Firefox, install other software and so on. But that's it that I wanted to show you. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, it's complicated but it was the only way that I found to make it work because on Windows it was having too much problems to compile all the things that it was needed. Here to shut down you just have to go up there, power off, power off, and power off, and that's it. Hope you enjoy. Bye bye.